covenant keeping father thank you for another time in your presence thank you for what you are set to do speak to us the word of life in Jesus precious name amen, amen. please take your seat this is our month of enlargement I can hear your amen. Eh? amen. And we have been teaching on the subject of divine wisdom. And today being the last day in that series, we'll be looking at dynamic value of wisdom in fulfillment of destiny. Dynamic value of wisdom in fulfillment of destiny. It's good we establish briefly what is the destiny of a believer look like because we are looking at dynamic value of wisdom in the stab in fulfillment of destiny. We are simply looking at the role that wisdom bring on board in our quest to fulfill our destiny. But let's start by finding out what does our destiny look like? If you don't know how it looks, you may not know what is of dynamic value in establishing it. I will read a few verses of scripture just to set that and for the, key, uh, for the purpose of those who might be in contact with this teaching and this is the first one you are laying hold on. What does the destiny of a believer look like? The word of God says we have an expected end. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse number 11. And that should call you to actions. He said, for I know the thought that I think towards you. So every thought is not you. Every thought is not you. There are thoughts that even come to your own mind. But they are not you. There are certain thoughts that goes up in the heart of a man. I want you to listen very well. Even in your own heart, operating in your heart, but that is not you. That is not a description of you that God has in, in, in cre at creation. And it goes on in your heart. For example, let me give you a simple one. The thought that you don't have anything. It goes on in your heart. Somebody says, how do you know? We speak it out. Am I right? Am I right? But that's not you. I don't have. We act it out. But still, it is not you. Tell your neighbor, I'm sure that is true of you. Tell that neighbor, I'm sure that is true of you. For, for example, let me borrow our challenge now. The challenge we are doing. There are people who is on that platform who has never given one shilling. True of us. They are just watching because we are over 200. It's very easy to calculate. We are over 200 on that platform. But every night, do we reach 150? Why do you think those people are not participating? There is a thought going on in their heart that they are acting out. 
Can I give you those thoughts? I don't have. That's one of them. Do you want me to tell you more? He cannot succeed. This is a waste of time. I don't believe in it. There are thoughts that goes up in our heart that are contrary to what God has in mind when he's creating us. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the law. Oh yes, for example, why do you envy people? Why do you get jealous? There is a thought in your heart that tells you they are better than you. Okay, what for God, God I love this boy called Dionte. Okay, why will I backbite Dionte? Why? Why will I be jealous of him? He's here, style. I did my own when he was not born. <laughs> Why? His trouser size. The way he wears his trousers. I won my own men in the 80s. It's called Rifle Cameron. Some of you were not born. So there is nothing he's doing that is new. I did mine. But to see. You get jealous of people, you get angry with people, you develop a hatred for people because of certain thought that tells you they are either occupying the space that belongs to you or they are outshining you. So that's why we need to know. Because we waste our time doing many things. Praise God. We waste our time. There is nobody to be fought here. Because there is nobody responsible for where you are. There is no one to be hated. I'm telling you the truth. If I react to you, just know I love you. <laughs> if you see me reacting to you, or I say something to you, is that I want us to be thinking the same way. But not because of what you are going to do to me. No, you can't do nothing. If God doesn't put my life in your hand, you can't destroy it. Praise God. Is somebody understanding what we are talking? So there are so many thoughts that goes up in the heart of a man that is not what God intended. Even though it is plain on the table of your heart, that is not God thought about you. He said, for I know. That means there might be there might be something contrary. For I know the thought. That means there are other thoughts that I think towards you. This thought is not of evil but of peace. So give you an expected end. So it is the thought of God that define our end. Somebody says, is it possible? Yes. Some of you are living in the slum or you are living in a very terrible place. That's not you. No, that's not you. That is a passage. That is not your person. Tell your neighbor, sit tight. Tell him where you Tell him, sit tight this morning. Tell him, I don't know where you wake up from. Maybe you wake up from a bed that collects you to the center. Or you actually woke up from a floor. But that's not you. That is a passage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is a passage. One man met me in town yesterday. He said, I've missed you. I said, that's not true. He said, I've missed you. I've missed your messages. I said, you know where I am. Stop flattering. You know my address. You don't expect me to be looking for you to preach to you. Come to where I preach. Do you understand what I'm saying? Look, I, I, I want you to rest. Because you are wasting your energy in wrong thing. That you are trekking today, that is not you. That is a stage. We must separate the difference between a stage and a destination. That you are trekking, walking. 
kilometer before you get to where you are going. That is not you. That is just a stage. God said that I may give you the expected end. That's why I said, although your beginning be small, thy later end. So if you are now describing yourself with your beginning, you have a problem. So what is our destiny look like? Because that's where it began. What is our destiny look like? He said, for I know the thought. That's why in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, he said, cast down every imagination and thoughts that are thought to be cast down. Yes, Something say you are poor, cast it down. Yes, but you see, you can't cast it down until you know who you are originally. Yes. Cast it down, cast it down. Yes. Come on, say I hear. So not all thought are godly thought. Even though they play in the tables of your mind. That doesn't make it you. Uh, Isaiah chapter 43, we are trying to find out what does a, a destiny of a believer look like. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 21. He said, these people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth what? My praise. So that means when people see you, they praise the Lord. God said, when I'm true with you, when people see you, they will praise me. Can I hear you louder? Amen. Can I hear you louder? Amen. When I'm done with you, when people see you, they will praise me. They will praise me. Praise the Lord. All right? First Peter, second Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. We want to know what the end look like. It is then we will appreciate the dynamics. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. The dynamics, value, that wisdom bring on board. He said, but you are a chosen generation, royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Tell your neighbor I am peculiar. Tell him I know you don't appreciate it, but it doesn't matter. Tell another neighbor I am peculiar. Tell him I'm unique. Peculiar people that you should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Are you seeing the word praise again? Okay, let's go to Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. Matthew chapter 5, we can start reading from verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. Look at your neighbor and say, are you a sweetener or a poisoner? What did he say? Look at your neighbor and say, God, who created you? Even if you are going around as a destroyer, he said, that is not you he created. You are a sweetener. He said, you are the salt of the earth. And I think God has right to describe us. Because it is him who have made us. He said, you are the salt of the earth. Tell your neighbor, please give taste to my life. You are the salt of the earth. But he said, if the salt lost its savour, where will shall it be salted? It is then fought good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on high that cannot be hid. Can you see yourself? A city that is set on high that cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bush. That means where I put you is a stage. You are a product in process. Yes, Turn your neighbor and say, I'm a product in the process. Yes, say it one more time. Yes, Ask your neighbor, are you sure you know yourself? Yes, 
Neither do men light a candle and put under a bushel, but a candle ski, and it giveth light to all that are in the house. Let your light so shine that men may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So, Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. I want to point out something to you and then you will appreciate the dynamics, value, the wisdom bring on board for the fulfillment of our destiny. He said, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did for no, he also he predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Now, all the scripture we are reading shows and pointing to one thing. We have a glorious destiny. That's why I brought so many of them. We have a glorious destiny. So if your life is not looking glorious now, that means don't settle there. Don't settle there. I don't know how many of you have traveled in the night by bus. I've done that many times. And you sleep inside the car. You fall asleep or you fell asleep. Is that correct? And then you open your mouth. What do you ask people first? Maybe the bus has stopped, stopped somewhere. What do you have? What do you ask people? Ask your neighbor, where are you? <laughs> Mutito or boy. I remember when we were planting Nairobi Church, so I travel every Wednesday, every, uh, I think I normally travel on Saturday, then I do Sunday there, then I come back Thursday morning. Thursday, I leave Nairobi Wednesday night, and then I arrive here. And sometimes you are so tired, because I did Wednesday service there, coming to Mombasa to do Thursday, and then you sleep off. But it's common. When you open your eyes, you don't tell the driver, drop me. <laughs> what do you tell the, what do you ask the neighbor? Where? Where are we? And you notice some neighbor are also sleeping. Do you talk to them? You don't waste time. You are talking to so many people who are sleeping about your destiny. So they answer you from the dream. <laughs> That's why they look at you like this and say, you can't make it. They are in a dream. Amen. You are talking to people who are not awake. Yes. So what do they see? They say you can't make it. Hallelujah. You can't make it. <laughs> because they are sleeping. Yes. And when you wake up, you don't say drop me because you are awake. No. You ask where are we? They tell you we are in void. Do you say drop me in void? Tell me, but why do you want to conclude your destiny where we are? So, so to ask your neighbor, why are you concluding? You don't know your destination? We are in void. We are in Mutito. Why is Sultanamu? I said they should drop you, and your destiny is Mombasa. And that's how many life. They easily write themselves off. You know, we, you know, me, you know, our father's house. We conclude, we ask people who have been sleeping about who we are. They are not aware. They are even absent in their own destiny. You're now asking them. That's why they look at you who were fearfully made by the wisest God and they say you can't amount to anything. They are free. You are the one who asks. 
when I'm traveling and I don't know where I'm going, there are people I don't ask. There are people I don't ask. <laughs> there are people what? I don't ask. I will not ask you. Because I can size you up that you don't even know where you yourself are going. Don't just see somebody on the road and ask where you are going. Some mislead, somebody have misled me before. That's why <laughs> I've learned my lesson. <laughs> you ask some people, say, where, where? Go there, turn right, turn left. He has said something. He doesn't care. He doesn't know whether you have more fuel to go. That's why some people, you tell them about your business and they tell you negative things because they are just passerby. They have enough trouble. And they develop hatred for you. Joseph was asking people who are confused. He was telling people who are confused of his destiny. That's why they were angry. Uh -uh. What do you mean? You mean all of us will bow down for you? You say yes. It's okay. We'll see how you will get there. Stop talking to swines. There are human swines. And the Bible warns you in Matthew chapter, I think chapter 7 verse 6. It says, cast not your peer before the swine. There are people you don't talk to about your destiny. These are virtue of wisdom. Amen. There are people you don't tell you are buying a car. They will send you arm robber. They get the detail and sell you out. Praise God. Hallelujah. There are people you don't show who you are dating. There are people you don't tell who talk to you that you are still processing. That product will never come to limelight. They will kill it. I told you when we were in school of her, my classmate who told, his, who told her college mother who uh, the lecturer who spoke to her in terms of relationship. And he said that, who, who did you say talk to you? That one that the teeth is like ham, like uh, <laughs> You know, the thing they take to remove. They remove the carpenter using. See, that one, and truly the man it is like that. What will you be doing with him? Today is the wife of the man. <laughs> and the man is highly lifted. He's a provost of our, of, our, of, our, of our college of agriculture. Wealthy. He cast, she casts her peers before what? That's why. There are people you tell business idea. That's what they will start tomorrow. And start accusing people that you are copying their business. <laughs> now, haven't mentioned that to you. I'm just trying to tell you because sometimes you, human beings become inferior about their own destiny because it's not yet fulfilled. So they cannot stay by themselves. Did you understand that? I branch there because many of you cannot stay by yourself. And it's better you, stay, even though the Bible says one to him that is alone, it's also, be, it's also better to be alone with yourself than to be with a wrong person. Many of you can't stay by yourself. I don't know, especially the ladies. They can't stay by themselves. <laughs> My friend, if you, can't, if you are not going where I'm going, we don't have any business apart from greeting. But do you know why you can't stay wet by yourself? You don't know your destiny. And because you don't know your destiny, you don't know how it's going to come in progression. And so you run to look for people to talk to. You run to do some things. No. No. You need to understand that. You must, let, you must learn to be by yourself when you don't see the right people. Praise God. And stop waking people who are sleeping where, where you have reached. 
Praise God. Are you getting those nuggets? They are coming in one by one. So, and for that to happen, you must be definite of your destiny. You must know it like black and white. You must have knowledge of how your destiny will come to place. I never get tired starting something small. You know why? Because I know my destiny. God said he will not give me the city in one day. He will give me what? Little by little. So on top of one mountain is the beginning of a new mountain. Did you understand that? Every success make me to start another success. Because I know what the Bible says about my glorious destiny. It will be a little here and a little there. Some people think we are slow in BCI. No, we are not slow. We are not slow. The best way to do what we do, Rebo, is to be slow. Praise God. I said, praise God. So you must know your destiny. You must understand it by yourself. It is then you will appreciate, you will understand why your destiny is configured to only one thing. I came to realize yesterday as I was preparing in the office for today's service, I came to realize that wisdom is the most treasurable commodity of life. I repeat, wisdom is what? The most treasurable commodity of life. No wonder I said, wisdom is the principal thing. In all thy getting, get understanding. In your quest for fulfillment of destiny, nothing should come fast before wisdom. Do you know everything you lack? Do you know why you lack them? You don't have wisdom for them. Everything we lack, you talk about you lack money, you don't have wisdom for money. Anything you lack, listen and listen very carefully, I'm teaching you some fresh things I learned over the weekend. Everything that you lack in your life is not the item that you like, you lack. It is the wisdom for creating that item. You lack peace, it is wisdom to create peace that you lack. Anything. You lack money, it is wisdom to create the money that you like. I'm telling you, wisdom is the principal thing. And therefore, it is dynamic to the fulfillment of our destiny. You lack joy in your family, it is wisdom you lack. It's not necessarily the woman is stubborn. Another person will live with that woman and tame the woman and get the best out of the woman. You are running away from lion. There are people who are feeding from it. <laughs> They've gained the mastery of training lion and they play with it. I was watching one. I see where lion carry a baby with his mouth. He carry a baby and put him in another place. It's not film trick. Lion can be tame and you made money out of it. But he feed on other people. Everything you lack, where you are now, where you want to go now, the price is wisdom. The price is wisdom. Your children are stubborn. They don't listen to you. What you lack is wisdom. What you lack, I came to realize, is the most treasurable commodity of life. 
And that, that sounds like what we have been teaching since the beginning of the month. Whatever you lack, it is not that thing, that item you lack. It is wisdom for it that you lack. Praise God. I said, praise God. So nothing should come first before wisdom. In your quest for success and establishment in life and destiny. Wow. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 11. Let me give you the scripture. I stop talking. All single. You know why your husband has not come? It is not that old woman in Kitale. Because we are not created to marry her son. It is wisdom that we lack. It is what? Wisdom that we lack. We want our church to grow. It is wisdom. Wisdom is what makes everything happen. No treasure, no treasure that is more than wisdom. Does that you lack respect where you live? It's lack of wisdom. It's not that the people disrespect you, it's you who doesn't have wisdom. Wisdom is the price for all things, wisdom is the currency that purchases all things. Look at what he said about wisdom. He said, For wisdom is better than rubies. How many things? And all things, look at that word things. All things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. That means wisdom is above all things. Wisdom is above all things. The early the church embrace it. Listen to this. The early power started, the early church started church with power. The latter church, which is our own generation, we established church by wisdom. Wisdom. You have seen what secular wisdom have done. To some people you attended the same school with. Huh? You know, it's part of the wisdom, the earthly wisdom. James talk about earthly wisdom, sensual wisdom. You right? Papa D finished school with one boy, they are friends. You've seen what earthly wisdom have done to many. They finished the other day. Is it, is, it, is it barely two years? It's not two years, it's one year plus. That's when they finish. Now, the boy earned 6,000 pounds per month. I want to take you from physical now. You remember some of your mates in primary school when you are in the village and you are privileged to go to university. Have you seen the difference between you and them? I'm asking you. I'm asking. Even in dressing, when you go to the village, 9 o'clock, they haven't brushed. But you were born the same time. You went to the same primary school. But they end up in the village. And then you, you advance. See the big gap that is between you and them now. Did you see that? Now that is how divine wisdom is. That is how divine wisdom is. And that is why God configured the glorification he promised us to wisdom. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, he said, verse 8, he talked about wisdom. He said, the wisdom which God has ordained for our glorification. Wisdom is the greatest thing that can deliver the future that we have in Christ Jesus. And that is why God configured it to wisdom. Let that scripture be there. Verse 7. It says, which none of the prince of this world, 
which none of the priests of this world, he said, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom of God, which God ordained before the world unto our glorification. Remember, our destiny is a glorious destiny. What did God ordain to deliver this glorious destiny? The hidden wisdom. So it is wisdom you have a need of for the fulfillment of your destiny. Amen. Go back to Proverbs 8, 11. Proverbs 8, 11. It says, for wisdom. Everybody say, for wisdom. For wisdom. Is better. Let's go. Better. Than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. So wisdom is the principal thing. Amen. Nothing on this planet earth that wisdom cannot purchase. But nothing on the earth what is value. There is nothing on earth that wisdom cannot purchase. He can purchase you a throne. Amen. Wow. He can purchase what? He can purchase you a throne. Amen. You saw how Joseph got the throne of Egypt. The Pharaoh himself, who was giving him the seed, he said, who is as wise and discreet as this man? We don't need to go to Pharaoh. We can come to Kenya. Hmm? Uhuru is campaigning for Raila. Is, is that not a strange life? Uhuru is campaigning for Raila. Matakarua is campaigning in Kakamega for Raila. Rivalry of many years. I saw it in my Bible. Were broken. He said he break the depth. Amen. What was it that Rahila did unknowingly? You know, he may not even, you know, he does, I'm not sure he read Bible. Because everywhere he go, Leo, Leo. I'm not sure. He, <laughs> I'm not sure he read Bible very well. And he has been ordaining many altars. So I'm not sure. Although he was baptized by Odo the other day. Whether it's a kingship, uh, I don't know. But it was did water baptism. He confessed Christ one day. There's nothing he has not confessed. <laughs> but he confessed Christ and he was truly baptized. But I think he did it or they did it unknowingly. But it may not be intentional. You know what the Bible says? You know, it says wisdom is the hearing and doing of the word of the law. It says seek peace. Seek what? Seek the peace of the city wherein I've taken you captive. For in the peace thereof, you will have your own peace. That handshake, that's why I say they may have done it ignorantly. They may not have even done it intentionally or with spiritual connotation. But that's what turned everything around. Seeking the peace. You know, that was what uh, Mordecai did that exalted him. He says, seek ye the peace. Put the scripture. Seek ye the peace of the city wherein I have. Look at it. Jeremiah 29 verse 7. He says, and seek the peace of the city whither I have caused you to be carried away captive and pray unto the Lord for it is in the peace thereof ye shall what? Have peace. Israel are not at peace now. That's why I say they may have just done it by creating peace. Maybe even for political gain. But that's scripture. That's scripture. And you know what the Bible says? It says when your way pleases God, he make even your enemy to be at peace with you. We, we are not reading it in his office. We are reading it right down the scripture. God want peace. God doesn't want Kenya to be killed because of election. And the moment they move that direction, Things turn. 
nothing can be compared to wisdom. You are not going for anything higher until you are going after wisdom. Did you hear that? You are not pursuing something great until you are pursuing wisdom. Mm. Wisdom created all things. John chapter 1 verse 1 to 4. He said in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And he went forth. I said there was nothing created that was made without the word. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 19. Proverbs 3 19. I hope you are still following. He said the Lord by wisdom has founded the earth. By understanding he has established the heaven. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24. It's, then he now told us who wisdom is. First Corinthians, he said, But unto them which are called, both Jew and Greek, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. So there is nothing that wisdom cannot deliver, including the fulfillment of our destiny. Amen. How many of you understand today, Samuel? So go after wisdom. Matthew chapter 6 verse 3. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things that the Gentiles are running after shall be given unto you. A crave for wisdom is a crave for enthronement. No destiny will be fulfilled beyond the scope of the wisdom of the man carrying the destiny. I repeat, no destiny will be fulfilled beyond the scope of the wisdom that is in place. No destiny will be fulfilled beyond the scope of the wisdom that is in place. <laughs> Are you see there? Solomon understand this. When among thousands of things that are available, he wrote on the blank check that God gave him, give me wisdom. Solomon knew that the highest thing on the earth that any man should desire is wisdom. But before we even get there, let me read one scripture for you. Job 28 and verse 15 to 9. Please, I'm gone back to my former life. I remember so many years ago, every day I asked for wisdom. Yesterday I returned. My first six months in ministry, what I asked for was only wisdom. I'm back now. Daily ask God to give you wisdom. Amen. Lord, give me wisdom. Should be our daily prayer because it's the most essential things for living. Amen. Are you there? Give me from verse 15. I'm coming back to there. 15. He said, give, get, let's start from 14 for those who may not have read it. 14. 13. 12. He said, but where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the price. Are you hearing that? The price thereof? Neither is it found in the land of the living. The depth say it is not in me. And the sea say it is not with me. It cannot be gotten for gold. Neither shall sliver be way for the price thereof. It cannot be valued with the gold of offer, with the precious oils or sapphire. The gold and crystal cannot be equal to it, cannot equal it. And the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of gold. That's why Joseph exchanged it for a throne. Amen. You can't you can pay Joseph with the money of Egypt. No. Egypt will still remain. Go ahead. No mention shall be made of Korah or of Pear, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. 
Lift up your hand where you are. And intentionally, Father, baptize me afresh with the spirit of wisdom. Lord, I ask for wisdom. I ask for wisdom. I ask for divine wisdom. Baptize me afresh with the spirit of wisdom. There is a wisdom that can turn your business around. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Please, in the next three months, every day you wake up, ask God, drain my pool of foolishness and let there be a pouring of wisdom over my life. His price is above rubies. Go to verse 19. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it, neither shall it be value for pure gold. Even if the gold is as big as this speaker, the size is irrelevant. As long as gold and wisdom, pick wisdom. How many of you understand something there? So what you ask for is, is understanding of wisdom. There is a wisdom God gave you. Your husband will be in your hand without a love portion. Wisdom portion. Wisdom portion. Your husband will be in your hand like this without you talking. I was sharing something with Deborah, my daughter, yesterday about their mother. Don't tell her anyway. It's a secret. You know, there are women that ask for everything and they get nothing. When they ask something, they don't give them. They create problem and chaos. You won't get it that way. You won't get it that way. What will your red eyes do to a man? Will he light a cigarette? So I'm going to sit in my own corner. <laughs> Argument will not get anything from you from a man. They are professor in it. Bring your evidence like this. They will not talk. <laughs> so you don't know whether your evidence has won <laughs> or is dismissed. Wisdom is everything. I was, I was one of the best man on earth yesterday when God began to pour out. That Look, all this thing you are running heter and scatter, just ask me for wisdom. Solomon knew it. I don't know why we didn't know it in New Testament. God said, ask me whatsoever you want. He said, whatever I want, I know the principle. You know, he's one who wrote Proverbs. He said, I know the principle thing that control every other thing. Give me wisdom. There and there, everything was loaded to him. Amen. There and there, wealth of the world, of generation, was given to him. Amen. Because wisdom created everything. Man, you say your wife doesn't submit to you. This wisdom you lack. Behind every problem of life is absence of wisdom. Amen. Is there absence of wisdom? But it's a new day for you. Amen. It's a new beginning for you. Amen. So this is the dynamics, value, that wisdom brings on board in the fulfillment of destiny. No matter how life drags you to the floor, get wisdom, you come up. Joseph was sold. All his dreams were thwarted. He was in the dungeon. But with the wisdom of God, he got back to his throne. I see a baptism. That's why you can't miss evening service for anything. That's why we declare it as baptism of wisdom. From now onward, you will always know what to do. You will always know what to do. You will always know what to do. There is always what to do in your situation. There is nothing called problem except you have solution. 
and it is wisdom that brings that solution to bear. Wisdom is so important. Let me say to show you. If you are truly created in the image of God, have you found out from God what he possessed at the beginning? Among all things, God didn't possess power. He possessed wisdom. Let's run through that commentary. Then you see Proverbs chapter 8 from verse 22. Proverbs chapter 8 from verse 22. Ask God to give you wisdom to talk to people. Everything you are looking for is not longer in heaven. It's in the hand of someone. Everything you are looking for. Look at what, let's, let's start from afar. Let's, let, I have time. Let me read from verse 1. Because I know they won't read it at all. Do not wisdom cry. And understand it, put out forth his vo her voice. She stand in the top of the high places. It's never, when you are wise, you can't be on the floor. By the way, in the places of the path. She cried at the gate and at the entry of city. At the coming in at the door. Unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the son of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom. And ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. He went further. Here, yeah, for I will speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be the right thing. Are you there? Opening of my lips shall be the right thing. For my mouth shall speak truth. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or powers in them. They are all plain to him that understand and right to him that find their knowledge. Receive my instruction. Let wisdom advise you. Amen. And not sliver. Are you seeing that? Not money. Are you not seeing many stupid rich people? I am better in your heart than money in your hand. Amen. And knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies and all things that may be desired are not to be compared. I wisdom dwell with the prudence. I find out knowledge of witty invention. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil and pride and arrogance and the evil ways and the forward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me kings reign. And princes discreet justice. By me, princes rule and noble, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me and those that seek me. Ali shall find me. You will find it. Amen. Help me tell them. But don't ask him where are we. He will tell you where in Mutito. Riches and honor are with me. Wealth are with me. Wealth are with me. Wealth are with me. Durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold. Yea, than fine gold. And my revenue than choice liver. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of judgment. That I may cause those that love me to inherit substance. You can't be wise and not have money. I'm not hearing your email here. I'm not hearing your email here. I like preaching to young people. That shows our future will be great. You can't, you can't have wisdom and not have money. It, they, as your wisdom grow, your money bag grow. Amen. That I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasures. Look at it. God didn't look for money. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way. Before his walk of old. And you, you are looking for shoe. The Lord possessed me. You are looking for samba. The Lord possessed me. The Lord possessed me. In the beginning of his way. Before his walk of old. Come along. I was set up from everlasting. From the beginning. Or ever the earth was. I was there before the earth was formed. So I am of a higher value than the whole earth. Amen. 
When there was no debt, I was brought forth. When there was no fountain, I bound with water. Before the fountain was set to, before the hill was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, not the feed, not the highest part of the dust of the wall. That's why gold can't buy it. Gold is in the earth. Before they were formed, wisdom was in place. Before you say yes to a man, let wisdom be in place. Don't build on a sandy water or sandy sand. When he prepared the heaven, I was there. When he set compass upon the face of the death. Okay, come on, let's go. When he gave to the sea his decree that water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundation of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight. Ask your neighbor, what is your delight? What is your delight? His answer will be out in. What is your delight? Sitting down and reading book is better than going to wise sand. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Rejoicing in the habitable part of the earth. Habitable, good places. Runda. <laughs> and my delight were with the son of man. Now therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children. For blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise. And refuse it not. Blessed is that man that heareth me, watching daily at my gate, waiting at the post of my door. For whosoever findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor. To, can you see that? But he that sinned against me, hey, they say give, you sin against him, you won't give. They say pray for your neighbor, you say you will continue fight. But he that sinned against me, wrought his own soul, and all they that hate me, love death. Are you alright now? Do you know what we establish your destiny? Wisdom. Nothing to be desired in life apart from wisdom. May the Lord give you understanding. So every day, assignment, as we close the month of March, pray for yourself. Pray for your children for wisdom. There is nothing to be compared to it. There is nothing it cannot bring down. See it in Pro, uh, Job chapter 28. Let me mention three things he does. Wisdom will give you water out of rock. Bad situation, you'll be making money from it. Bad situation. Are you there? Give me from verse uh, 8. Yeah, he said the lion webs have not trodden it, not the fiercy lion passed by it. Look at what wisdom do. He put forth his hand upon the rock. He overturned mountain by roots. You see that? And we all know there are rocky situations on the line and the path of our destiny. For great and effectual door is open, but there are many adversaries. With wisdom, you will put your hand. Amen. Upon rock, rock, and overturning it by roots. Amen. Nothing rise against you that you don't bring on the floor. Amen. I came to realize wherever the idea for challenge came, it was godly. Amen. It was what? Godly. I found the way it is in the scripture. You know, anything we are doing, I must go and cross check first. Is it by Bliku? I discovered there is evening sacrifice. I know you will look at me. They say in the time of evening sacrifice, that is when fire fell. There is a time in Old Testament called the evening sacrifice. That's when the fire fell. So for those who are telling you that uh, giving in the evening is stressful, is what, it cannot be done, it, they are lying. I just, God just muted to my ear a few days ago. He said, you remember when Elijah asked them to bring, uh, to call down their God. They were calling in the morning. They were calling in the afternoon. 
but Elijah waited till evening sacrifice. Amen. Evening sacrifice. Thank you, my boy. He said, and it came to pass at the time of offering of the what? Tell your neighbor and say, why have I not been seeing you there? Please let me ask if you yourself are there. Get angry and ask him, have I been seeing you there? Even a sacrifice. Elijah said, told the prophet, come near. And the fire fell. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. There is no rock, rock, rocky marriage. You will put your hand inside and overturn it. Rocky situation. Get us back. Get us back. That's what I showed them the three. Number two, he cut out rivers among rock. And his eyes see precious things. You can't be wise and be wearing China. The wiser you are, the more expensive thing that is around your life. His eyes see precious things. Wherever anyone that wear wisdom see precious things legitimately, not fraudulently. Go to the next one. He said, but where shall wisdom be found? He will overturn situation. He will overturn situation. What look like obstacle, he turn it to a miracle. Yeah. From this day forward, I call for baptism. I will have asked you to fast today. I forgot. Eh? I call for baptism of wisdom. Baptism of wisdom. Baptism of wisdom. Wisdom, turn problem to progress. Yeah. Turn problem to what? To progress. He overturned it mountain. That's what wisdom does. It's a new day for you. Amen. It's a new beginning for you. Amen. Say, Lord, baptize me afresh Lord, with the spirit of wisdom. Baptize me afresh with the spirit of wisdom. He overturned it mountain. May the good hand of God be with you. Let's rise up on our feet. We are coming in the evening for baptism of wisdom. Those of you who are not filled with the Holy Ghost, make sure you are around so that you get filled. Praise the Lord. Rise up with energy of strength. Hallelujah. The depth of your wisdom determines the precious thing that you see. The depth, the depth of your wisdom. The depth of your wisdom determines the precious thing. Determine where you live. Why wisdom, wisdom, and we have seen it in secular. How those who are educated are living well. How those who are talented are living well. Can you imagine Sameto has a jet? He know how to use football. Wisdom of the saints. When you are coming, he pass it as well. He has a jet. You cannot shine more than your wisdom. Father, everyone under the sound of the voice of my voice, I pray for a fresh crave for the for divine wisdom, Amen. not craftiness. Amen. I open up your heart Amen. that from now you will not be rebellious Amen. when you hear Amen. grace to be a doer of the same. Amen. Come upon you afresh Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new day for this ministry. Amen. It's a new beginning. Amen. So follow. It's a day that seek me early shall find me. So go after all the assets we have revealed. Buy books. He that walk with the wise shall be wise. A companion of fools shall be destroyed. Keep good friends that operate in divine wisdom. Then another greater than Solomon will emerge. Amen. Lift up your two hands. I pray for everyone here once again. The Lord let there be that heart desire. Amen. Heart desire. Amen. In our heart. Amen. To quest after wisdom. Amen. Let it become our daily prayer from now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I command the pool of, of foolishness. Upon any one of us. To dry up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. If you are here. You are not born again. 
The wisdom of God demands that any man that is on the earth should reconcile back to God. That's the wisdom of God. And therefore he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but has an everlasting life. A life that is full of progression. If you are in the main service, you are not born again. I want to pray for you. Let me see your hand up. If you are not born again, I don't want to take my seat before I pray for you. Let me see your hand. If you are not born again, just lift up your hand. You will not be asked to say anything. And I will pray for you and Jesus will come into your life. Do we have anyone in, in this service who is not born again? I don't mean you don't go to church, but you have never confessed Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Do we have anyone? Those of you who may be there online, say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. I am a sinner, but today I come to you. Jesus, forgive me my sin and my trespasses. Save me from my waywardness. Write my name in the book of life. For I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Put your hands together for our Lord Jesus Christ. If you are clapping, clap very well. If you have prayed that prayer, follow the address that is displayed on the screen right now. And that is our contact. And in case we are far away from your location, endeavor to look for a Bible-believing church and begin to go to church. Let them know what you have done. That is the wisdom of God to our new life. And you will be guided adequately. God bless you and prosper you. Come on church. This should be a, a notable service in your life. From now, let no day go by without ask, uh, you asking God for wisdom. Because he says, if any man lack, let him ask from God. He didn't say let him buy. Let him ask from God that give it to all men liberally and no bread and not. And it shall be given. And James said, you lack because you ask not. James chapter 1 from verse 1 to 5. So begin to ask for wisdom. Wisdom to raise my children. Wisdom to do my business. Wisdom on how I conduct myself. Wisdom is everything. It is well with you. I say it is well with you. As you go today, the hand of God remains with you. I pray for everyone. Every shatter home. Every man who could not keep a wife. That disaster can be tamed. It is not the woman. It is lack of wisdom. Everyone who cannot raise their children and they are giving you problems left and right. It is not those children. It is lack of wisdom for raising them. Your children will no longer bring disgrace for you. Amen. Can I pray loud out that prayer for you one more time? Yes. I say none of your children yes. will be an embarrassment. Yes. We ourselves will no longer be embarrassment to our parents. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ.